everybody, Sasha here again for Orchestral Tools. In this video we will take a look at the trombones and the tuba of the Berlin Brass main collection. We have uh, two different tenor trombones here, a bass trombone, a tuba and a trombone ensemble, which consists of the two tenor trombones and the bass trombone recorded together. So just like with the horns and the trumpets, let me start by playing the legato patches so that you get an idea on how each individual instrument sounds. Okay, this was the first tenor trombone, uh, only with non vibrato sustains. So for the two tenor trombones, the trombone ensemble and also the tuba, we have not only the non vibrato sustains, but also sustains with vibrato. So let me play you an example of that with the first trombone. Okay, moving on to the second tenor trombone. Okay, now the bass trombone. And finally, the trombone ensemble. Thank you. 
And then we also have the tuba, which does have the same legato types as the horns and the trumpet. So we have slurred and returned legato and also vibrato and non-vibrato sustains. And now a little example with the vibrato sustains, which you can use for exposed solos and and that kind of weird and funny side the tuba can pull off. For the trombones, we also recorded most of the glissandos that are possible on, on the instrument. So those patches can be played just like a regular legato patch, but there's a limited amount of, of intervals available for the glissandi. So if you are not familiar with the possible glissandos on the trombones, uh, just try it out and you will see which one work and which intervals uh, will not work. Here's an example of those with the trombone ensemble. And if you if you use the individual trombones, so the two tenor trombones and the bass trombone, you can also, of course, do any kind of chord transitions. With the Berlin Brass main collection, you will, of course, also get uh, the multi-patches, which is a standard of every capsule-based library orchestra tools has released. And in those multi-patches, you not only can uh, customize your own key switch multis, but uh, as you may know, we also have this feature called polyphonic key switching. And with this, you can basically customize the way you play and perform the instruments of the library. For example, maybe you want 
the keyboard velocity not to control the actual dynamics but to switch between articulations and control the dynamics otherwise for example simply with the with the mod wheel so all you have to do is go into the patches and turn on the cc x fade mode and then in the polyphonic key switching you can just on the fly select up to four articulations you want to control at the same time and then you select one of the four modes to control them i've selected velocity switch here and now when i play low velocities i will get the staccatissimo and then the harder i press the keyboard the the longer the articulations get so we get to staccato to short and finally long marcato And this is just one way to adjust those multi-patches to your liking. If you, for example, want to invert the articulations, you can switch the order in which you press, in which you select the four articulations. So if I start with the marcato long and then go down to the staccatissimo, you see it's basically uh, the other way around. And you can also use the CC for switching and you can crossfade between the articulations and also do a 2D crossfade, which doesn't make too much sense with short articulations. But anyway, you have all the options you need here to really adjust the behavior of those patches to your workflow and your likings. The trombones and the tuba are most famous for providing very loud and powerful, beefy, low notes and rhythmic interest with stabs and all kinds of stuff, especially in film music. But your trombones are also able to provide very nice sounding rhythm and harmony in the low register. So in Berlin Brass, we have all the articulations also in lower dynamic levels. So we can actually recreate things like this. I have a short little example here showing you what I mean with the three uh, trombones and the tuba. As you can see, just like with the horns and the trumpets, we also have our standard set of dynamic articulations, two different crescendo lengths for the piano and two different swell lengths. Again, in two dynamic layers each, uh, we have the repetitions, which you already heard in the short intro music I've done for this video. And uh, now we are already at the end of this little overview. It was a pleasure for me to show you uh, the Berlin Brass main collection. We are all very proud of this creation and as in every video I will wrap it up with a last demo. This is uh, individual trombones in the tuba uh, playing harmony and rhythm and the trombone ensemble on top with the melody.